Hello, and welcome to this Price to Job tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at how to customize and share the quotation report. Once you're done building out your various modules for your estimate, it's time to share your estimate with your client. Price to Job makes this process easy as well. To access the quote, first go to the Reports tab here in the top of the left-hand sidebar. And here from the left-hand pane, there are a variety of reports to choose from, including Quote. And here you have a professionally designed quote that you can easily share with your client. It's quite simple to customize, and this is done with the controls in the right-hand pane. For example, you can either choose to include or exclude your logo, and then choose the positioning of that logo, either left, center, or right. Then we can choose to show or hide the project information, including the date and reference number. If we hide that, that will be removed from the quote. And we can change the level of detail shared here by selecting either quote, detailed, simple, or quote. Now, if you'd like to edit this header or edit these project details, it's quite easy to do so. Let's start by clicking Edit Header. And here we can start by editing our logo. And here we can upload a logo from our system. And then once it's been imported, we can adjust the crop features here to crop out any negative space or unwanted space that we have around our logo. So for example, we can cut out the negative space like this, or perhaps we might want to just show a portion of our logo, maybe something like this. To speed things up, we have a variety of templates we can choose from, and we click on the drop-down menu here. Here we have logo on right, logo on left, or centered. And we'll see in just a moment how to save new templates, but for now we can use any of these templates and adjust them manually using these functions here. So let's align our logo to the left margin, or the top center, bottom center, or right, or we can choose not to show our logo at all. Then we also have the options of aligning our text to the left, centered, or to the right. And notice that we still have a placeholder for our logo, even though it is not showing. So if we wanted to move our text all the way to the right side here, we could move the logo to the left and then hide the logo. So this gives you some flexibility. You also have the option of changing the font of your header. And we currently have options for Roboto, Helvetica, Times New Roman, or Arial. We'll leave this set as Roboto, and we can also change the font color. And there's a color palette here that you can use to change the font to the various colors. We'll just leave our set for black for now. Now, if we'd like to add more lines here to our header, we can do so by clicking Add Line, and this will add a blank line. So we can just click in here and say, thank you for your business. And alternatively, we can also import lines here by clicking the Import button. And this will import details from our company setup page. And we can choose from any of these tabs, either Company, Project, Project Version, Customer, or Report. So let's choose from our company. Let's include our VAT number. So we simply click on this line here. And that imports our VAT number here into our header. Now, without any sort of identifier, it may be a little bit difficult to understand exactly what this number indicates. So we can just click on this, and then from the options, we can choose to show title. And we can do that for any of these as well, just to avoid any confusion. And then we can use these drag handles to reorder our fields. So for example, if we prefer to be contacted online first, we can move our digital contacts to the top. And if we don't want people dropping into our office, we can move that down closer to the bottom and reorder these in whichever way makes sense to us. When we're done, we can save this and either create a new template or replace an existing one. So let's create a new template and we'll just call this one My Template and save. And now when we come back to our reports, we can simply go to the header templates here and select a template choose from logo on the left, logo on the right, or my template that we've already created. Similarly, we can also edit, similarly, we can also edit the project details. So we'll click edit project here to open the edit project information. And again, we can choose from a variety of templates. We can choose either one column or two for our project details. And we can align our text to the left, centered to the right, for each of our columns, again, to the left, centered, or to the right. 
change our font, and again we have the options of Roboto, Helvetica, Times New Roman, or Arial. We'll leave this set at Roboto. Again, we can change our font colors, the variety of colors to choose from. And again, for each of our columns, we can either import new fields from our company setup, including company details, project details, project version, customer, or report. Or we can add new lines and just type freeform text in those lines. And again, for each of these, we can click on this to either show the title or hide that. And do the same for both the left and right columns. And when we're done making our changes, we can go ahead and save. And again, we can either create a new template or replace an existing one. We'll save this as a new template called My Template and save. And now again, when we return to our quotes, we can click the Project Information Templates menu here and choose from Detailed, Simple, Quote, or My Template. We'll leave this set at Simple for now and change the header to Logo on Right. And let's go ahead and revert our logo back to its original form. And we see here that the original image has been preserved. And we can go ahead and replace this update on my template. And then we can change the title of our report here, either from quote to an estimate, a quotation, or proposal. Or we can add our own title as well if we choose. We'll just leave this set as quote for now. And then for the structure, we can choose to show or hide the categories and subcategories. And if we are viewing by location, we can click the view by location here instead of categories. These will be assigned to their location within the construction project. In this case, the location would be the ground floor and the sublocations would be the hall, kitchen, and bathroom. So we can hide the locations or the sublocations. We can also choose to hide or show descriptions, materials, labor, plant and tool and other costs, other costs, quantity and units, and this would apply if we are sharing our material information here. So here we can show or hide the quantity and units, as well as optional modules, which would be shown at the bottom after our grand total. And then we can choose to show prices for each location, each sublocation, the various module totals, the various items, and again, if we are showing our materials, here we can show the item pricing and the resources subtotals, including materials and labor, and the optional totals here at the bottom, and the grand total just above the optionals. We can choose to either show or hide the row underlines, and if we're showing material pricing, the underlines help guide the eye to the proper values. If you will not be showing item pricing, then perhaps you might want to hide the row underlines. And you can also choose to show or hide the icons for each of the various modules. You can also change the font of the quote to a variety of various fonts. And you can choose to include bullets if you choose, and these will display on various sections in the description. Here we can choose auto bullets regular bullets, circles, diamonds, squares, arrows, or none. Just leave that set for automatic for now. And these are represented by a green check mark. If you choose to, you can display labor only in hours. So let's go and select labor to show in the structure with items. And now we can choose to show labor only in hours or as a rate. And then at the very bottom of the quote, we can choose to include notes if we wish by selecting the checkbox here. And this opens a text box here that we can edit by clicking the edit icon. And this opens the text editor. And here we can type anything we wish. If we wish to, we can even save a variety of different templates for quick addition later on. So here we can select, for example, my new notes. 
or system notes, or no notes at all. Once you're done customizing your proposal, we can go back to the top of the right hand pane here and we can choose to print this quote. Or we can export it as a PDF or export it as a Word document or email it directly to the client or contractors from within Price a Job. Or you can also export it as a CSV file, which can be opened in any standard spreadsheet application. To customize your CSV file, first you can choose either simple or advanced, and then choose the various field titles. So for example, we might want the module title, resource title and type, not necessarily the tradesperson, but certainly the quantity and units, rate and total cost. We can choose to include materials, labor, plant and tool, and other costs, and we're ready, click export. Then when you want to open this CSV file, make sure that you are separated not by semicolons or spaces, but by commas. CSV stands for comma separated values. So we select comma separated, and then open this spreadsheet, and here we see our module title, resource title, resource type, quantity, units, rates, and total cost. Just as we selected here in our export options. And that's how to customize and share quotation reports. Thank you for using Price a Job. Mm -hmm.